Okay, Caleb here from Cell Phone Intelligence, and this video uh, is the first of two uh, for the Galaxy Note, and it is um, going to, this one here is um, how to um, optimize or tweak your S Pen handwriting settings, um, so that way um, you get more accurate recognition. Uh, so I'm just going to get right into it. Um, now, um, as well, uh, something to think about here is we're getting started. We're just going to go into the language and input settings in your phone. Um, is if you handwrite uh, or if you print, and um, you know that's going to actually become very important um, once we get into the settings um, of uh, how you're going to tweak them. So go into your system settings, language and input, and then Samsung keyboard, and then here we are. And I'm going to reset all my settings just um, to give you a base of where I'm starting from. <clears throat> so, uh, basic keyboard settings here. Excuse me. Um, and a lot of these don't apply because they're for the QWERTY keyboard. So, uh, keyboard types, not applicable. In input language, you can choose yours. Mine's English. Um, but if you don't choose one, it defaults to English. So, you don't, you don't really have to worry about that. Um, next, uh, pen detection. Um, if you use your pen, turn it on, and all it, and that just means um, if when the pen isn't actually uh, in the uh, inside the phone, um, when the keyboard pops up, uh, it should pop up in handwriting mode as opposed to QWERTY mode. Um, it doesn't always work, but you know it saves you you know the time of you know hitting you know switching on the keyboard. Uh, one-handed operation not applicable XT9 um, not actually applicable um, really those settings are only for the QWERTY keyboard because even with this off um, there are always predictions are always shown uh, with the handwriting uh, keyboard so uh, don't even worry about that uh, keyboard sweeping not applicable auto caps I usually that this is a personal preference I turn it off because I find that it's words I don't want capitalized are always getting capitalized and it uh, just annoys me to have to go back um, voice input personal preference once again you know if you want to talk to your keyboard or not uh, character preview only applies to the QWERTY keyboard but I always turn that off because I find it annoying and it uses a lot of memory so here we are now in the handwriting se uh, settings <coughs> excuse me um, now like I said um, you gotta, you know, you want to decide um, whether you uh, will be printing or handwriting, and uh, that comes into effect. I'm gonna skip full screen for a sec and just go right to recognition type. Um, now I'm only going to go through stroke recognition. Um, I'm not gonna demo complete recognition; it would just take too long. But basically, the difference is um, complete recognition. Um, you know, lets you write out several words and then you decide when you want the um, software to actually make the translation and um, put your you know writing onto uh, and turn into text um, with stroke recognition what it means is um, from the time uh, from the time uh, you finish writing a word and then take your pen the pen off of the screen it's how much time the Samsung software is going to use to make the translation and so the timing here recognition time also comes into effect um, quite a bit as well so I'll just show you a quick example uh, of uh, the uh, stroke recognition here let you know what I'm talking about so let's go into my SMS whatever and so I'm gonna write the word you know this and you know G H I S but now notice as long as I keep my pen on the screen it doesn't you know the software doesn't make the translation and then once I take it off there it goes so that's all it means by stroke recognition you know it begins recognition time after you have finished a stroke so back into the settings and if you didn't know you can get directly to the settings from the keyboard there um, by hitting that settings button <laughs> Recognition time. Now, um, if you uh, print uh, when you're writing, you are going to want a lower recognition time 
and if you uh, handwrite um, cursively, you know, full words, um, then you are going to want a longer recognition time. And um, I'll, you know, simply the reason being is that, um, say, you know, if you're printing, you're going to want 300 mils, and then you know, eventually up to down to 100, because the when you're only writing one character, you know, the letter T, um, it doesn't take, you know, the the software doesn't need a lot of time to recognize accurately what that character is. And so you want it to be able to recognize, your, you know, the faster it recognizes your letters, the faster you can go. So, um, that being said, 300 is a good place to start, and then eventually you want to get down to 100. Uh, if you can get down to 100 milliseconds, then, like, that's pretty fast. Um, alternatively, for uh, cursive handwriting, um, now 500 is the default, and I find it's, you know, it's a good place to start. Um, but if you're having trouble, um, um, and the biggest thing with um, uh, hand cursive writing is you need more time to go back and cross your T's and dot your I's. Because if you don't cross your T's, dot your I's, um, there's a lot higher chance of getting an incorrect prediction and then having to write the word again. So um, I'd say start at 500. And uh, if you find you're not having trouble, you're not having enough time to, you know, get back and do dot those T's, cross those I's, uh, move it up, bump it up to a thousand. And then that just gives you, you know, the added time. Now, if you're printing, you've got your recognition time set to a thousand milliseconds. That's a long time. You know, you write the letter T and then, you know, we you wait, 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 the software translate it, you know, make your next letter H, wait, wait. So it just doesn't make sense. <clears throat> um, I handwrite, so um, I'm going to go 500 milliseconds, and that is that. Uh, next, pen thickness, and uh, this one here, personal preference, right? But um, you really got to try them out, and I suggest trying all of them, um, just to see, because you never know really which one's going to work the best for you. Um, default is 5, I, go, I like to go with 3. Now, you know, you might think, you know, oh, well, obviously the, uh, the thinnest one is going to be the easiest, but not necessarily because it's really easy uh, with, you know, having it uh, so thin for your handwritings to just become chicken scratch. And so, let's, you know, oh, I'll try and get in a little closer. Uh, uh, yeah, testing, and, you know, testing, testing, you know, so it's close, but, you know, like I said, you know, try them all, um, and, you know, you might think, oh, well, you know, obviously the thicker one is uh, going to be the easiest, well, um, not necessarily, oh, whoops, uh, not necessarily, uh, because it's really easy for your uh, writing to turn just turn into blobs. So, you know, your thickness here. Ugh. What is that? Uh, blob. No, not bad. But like I said, try them all out. And uh, figure out which one's uh, <clears throat> which one's the most comfortable, uh, which is most like writing with a real pen, uh, and you know that'll help out. Uh, I guarantee that'll help you out um, greatly with getting proper predictions. <clears throat> and then pen color, uh, you know, personal preference. Uh, just your guide. Go through it, and then you know, use your handwriting for a bit. Go through it again. Um, get the you know, refresh yourself because I guarantee that that will help as well. Um, use the you know, check out the tutorial as well. Um, I found the tutorial personally um, very confusing though um, at first. So um, I say go through the tu tutorial and then try out your settings, tweak them, and then maybe go and then go back to the tutorial again later. And um, you know, hope you know maybe you'll have a better understanding of it because personally, like I said, I found it very confusing at first. And I found um, using the pen very frustrating at first as well. So, um, you know, 
practice, practice, practice. That's really all I can say. You know, force, you know, make, you know, make yourself use it. Like, why did, did you get a phone with a pen if you're not going to use it? it? Just doesn't make any sense. So, um, those are your uh, S Pen settings. And uh, that's going to wrap up this video. Um, number two is going to be um, the advanced uh, handwriting lesson. Um, and I'll show you the different gestures, um, you know, for erasing, spacing, um, you know, adding lines, that kind of stuff. And um, some letters, you know, maybe to watch out for. Um, and as well, um, how to uh, make contractions easily. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, that about wraps it up here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you say you want to see the next one, um, check out the YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash user slash cell phone intel with one L. Um, you can hit up the Facebook as well. Uh, Facebook.com slash cell phone intelligence. Uh, um, my name is Caleb and this has been your cell phone intelligence. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.